Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. A few weeks back, I got to hang out with two exceptional individuals, John Davis and Phil Freybot. Uh, they both agreed back when we met at F3 Expo to help me develop a race wing, and I got to go down to Georgia and fly FPV race wings with them, also teach them how to build and fly. Great episode coming up. But while I was there, Phil Freybot is a team pilot for Immersion, and he has a lot of really great advanced tips for the Vortex Pro that we're now carried in our store. Now, unfortunately, it was a little dark outside, so it's a little grainy. I apologize for that, but check it out. Hey guys, my name is Phil Freibert and uh, today I'm going to walk you through from the setup and main menu of the new Vortex Pro. Let's get started. The first thing is you have a main menu and with the, with the right stick you can uh, go to your, to your actual flight mode. And then when you, pull, when you are disarmed and you pull the left stick to all the way to the left, you can enter the Vortex menu. And then you have all these different options. You can set up your OSD menu. You can change LEDs on the back of the Vortex. You can jump into the Video TX channel, so you can uh, change channels and frequency and all that stuff. You have a game setup where you can, there's a, like a small game. You can fly around and it counts your timer laps and stuff like this. You have the flight control and the pro tuning. So I'm gonna walk you through real quick. All your, all your um, movements on the OSD, you're gonna do with your sticks on the radio. So you can select it like this, up and down. And then if you want to enter a menu, you're just going to pull the stick to the right and you enter the menu. So here we have the, the OSD setup. What do you want to see on your screen? There are uh, different options, I think four or five of them. You have air race mode, you have a HUD menu, you have a gamer setup and an easy OSD. I usually fly with the easy OSD because I have my battery voltage and all that stuff. So it's pretty easy to control uh, all your settings. Then um, you can uh, change, for example, your name if you want to. Gonna select it up and down, and then you have that arrow there facing to the to the menu, and then you move it to the right stick, to the right, and you see that star, and then you, uh, it shows you it's selected. And then you see it's right now on the M or on the X. See, you can flip through here. So you can go up and down, left and right. And if you're done, just enter it and you can go to the next one. And also here on the bottom you can, you can have, a, you have a feature for your pack capacity. So I recommend you to set it up before you start flying. So if you have a 1300 milliamp, just select 1300. I have it selected already, but I'm gonna show you through. You can go up to, I don't know how far it goes, but you can fly pretty big packs. I think it will not even carry the Vortex. But just set it to the to the right value or the right voltage what you need for your pack your peckery, battery pack. <laughs> and uh, you can also change your beeper frequency. Just select it, go up and down, and it will change the intensity of the tone a little bit. This was the OSD menu. Let's switch to the LED setup. That's pretty cool. So um, here you can change if you want to have it blinking or if you want to have it off fixed you have can change also the colors i have mine set to red and blue so it looks like a police car flying through the air you can do all the crazy stuff whatever you want then uh, another important part is setting up the video tx just make a right click and you can see your frequency you can see which band you are on immersion rc or fat shark or boss cam and you you have the channel so for example you want to change your uh, frequency you just Selected with the right stick, and you, so you see it's now changing race band. It's going to boss cam E, boss cam B, boss cam A, and immersion RC or fat shark channel. Then, if you go one below, you uh, have the channels, and you also just going with the stick up and down. So, channel 5, 4, 3, 1, and uh, also you can select the power. For example, you are flying in Europe somewhere or on a race, it's not allowed to uh, fly with the 350 milliwatt, you can set it to low, I think it goes to 25 milli milliwatt then, so you can change it up here. I leave it all the time at auto, so it regulates by itself. Then uh, another cool thing is the pro tuning, so if you start flying a Vortex for the first time, 
you probably go ahead and just select the pro tuning. Um, there are a lot of immersion pilots in there, so they spend some time tuning it. And uh, you can just swipe through whichever pilot is your favorite or whatever. And on the bottom you have a description. So for example, we are looking at Metal Danny right now. And he was flying with the HQ props, with Cobra motors and on 4S with the GoPro equipped. So your quad should be similar to that to fulfill your PIDs for that setting. So that's pretty cool. You have Boris, you have Oh My God, Tommy. And you see on the bottom the description. So if this match your setup, you probably should select this tune. But I mean, it's, it's up to you. You can just uh, choose whatever you want and see how it feels for you. So if you, if you like, for example, the, the tune from uh, Oh My God, you just select it and then you go, go down and select load present and make a right stick movement so it's safe to you, it's safe to the PIDs. For example, you select your pro tuning now, but you don't like the rates or something, it's too, too snappy for you, so you can go to flight control and then to RC setup and you can change your rates, expo or something. For example, you lower the rates, then your quad is not moving that, that quick, so it's easier to start with. Or you just uh, fly some batteries and see how it feels for you. So I hope this uh, will help you to get your Vortex up in the air. I mean, you saw the first review already, setting up the TX and all that stuff. So this was a quick overview about the, the main menu and the OSD. And if you have any questions, just uh, hit me up on social media and I will help you to get you back in the air. Peace.